Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the exact length or arc length of a curve, and this curve is x e to the y plus 1 over 4 e to the negative y. So to find the exact length of the curve, we have to remember the arc length formula. So recall that the arc length formula S, so S stands for arc length, is going to be integral from A to B. And in this case, since we have x as a function of y, some curve that's on its side, we're going to have to do 1 plus x prime squared dy. So we're going to integrate with respect to y in this case. So we need to first calculate x prime. So x prime, just differentiate x with respect to y, we get e to the y minus 1 over 4 e to the negative y. So if we square that, x prime squared will be, well, foil this thing out. So get e to the y minus 1 over 4 e to the negative y squared. And we'll get e to the 2y. So square that first term, e to the 2y multiply and double, I'm going to get negative 2 over 4 e to the 0, and then square the last term, so plus 1 over 16 e to the negative 2y. Now, under the radical, we have 1 plus x prime squared, so add 1 to this term, so 1 plus x prime squared. Well. If I add 1, all right, so now we can simplify this a little bit. Just that middle term, that just becomes negative 1 half. So that's e to the 2y minus 1 half plus 1 over 16 e to the negative 2y. And now, under the radical, we actually have 1 plus x prime squared, so let's add 1 to this term. So 1 plus x prime squared. Well, if I add 1, the only thing that really changes is this negative 1 half. Negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half, so that will become e to the 2y plus 1 half plus 1 over 16 e to the negative 2y. And this is actually a perfect square. So what happens a lot of times with these arc length integrals is we get a perfect square under the radical so that the radical will go away. And the perfect square that we get is e to the y plus 1 over 4 e to the negative y quantity squared. So that's actually the thing under the radical whenever we evaluate this integral. So our arc length s in this case is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 square root of e to the y plus 1 over 4 e to the negative y squared dy. And that's a 4. So this is equal to, well, the square and the radical cancel. I just get e integral from 0 to 1, e to the y, plus 1 over 4, e to the negative y, dy. And I can integrate those pretty easily. Get e to the y minus 1 over 4. e to the negative y from 0 to 1. Plug in those bounds to get e minus 1 over 4e minus e to the 0, which is 1, plus 1 over 4 e to the 0, which is plus 1 over 4. And of course I can simplify 
that last two terms, negative 1 over 4, negative 1 plus 1 over 4 is going to be negative 3 over 4, so this is e minus 1 over 4e minus 3 over 4.